I'm a demon from the Illuminati. I cover one eye like all the fancy stars. Joke. Anyway, tonight is the night for introspection, which I'm thankful that I have the ability to even do because so many people that are cluster B monsters who like to rain on your parade, they don't have that ability, and it's disgusting as far as I'm concerned. But I was just wondering about this stuff we're talking about, these things that all these people seem to go through that are basically all the same story, just a slight, slight or different variation. Well, well, because the people we're dealing with are retarded. But besides that, I've often wondered, now, why exactly if I meet a person and they have these traits I pick up on, why on earth do I even see them again? You may have the same question. Because there have been many times when I've hung out with somebody and they've displayed the cluster B fool behaviors and they've always got the blank slate on their side because... I don't know anything about them, so if I notice this and notice that, and pick up on it and say, hey, that was weird that you did that, there'd be some excuse. So you're basically trapped because they're not going to tell you that what you think is right. So, but I've wondered why exactly would I want to see them again? Because I, we all know I am a self-confessed narcopathic magnet. Well, I think what one factor that might be involved is okay all of I'm an adult I'm an old adult and if you are you know that when you were born you were a baby you were a child once and when you were a child you grew up and searched for your identity here and there and maybe today you were a vegetarian and tomorrow you love leather and beef and you just tried this out and tried that but the point is with a normal, which we won't define normal, but let's just say non-narcopathic person, you, like, progress through this. So, yeah, you were a vegetarian that year. You were a meat eater this year. You were a cheerleader that year. You were a gothic chick the next year. You were a fag the next year. And all these different things. Well, the point is, that's like part of childhood. It's normal. It's funny and cute when you see a child. But you like kind of like leave that behind when you get to the older stages after like high school and college. You kind of like form an identity, which, again, the people we're dealing with don't have that. And that's the deal, is they never got to that point because they were retarded at a like probably a seven or eight year old level. So when you have like progressed upon that and you've mo moved on into adulthood or I've moved on to adulthood and let's say you meet one of them and they've got that look or they've got that body or they've got that charm or whatever it is that dr drags magnets like me to them, you don't want to believe that there's something evil. You want to think that you're just mistaken. But the point of the, all that is, is that you start seeing red flag here, red flag there. But, he was so hot last night in the bedroom. Or, that dinner he made was so good. And you even brainwash yourself to think, you know what, you're being too critical. Well, what ends up happening is when you interact with these people, they, they're great at first. But eventually, the cracks start to show and sickness starts to be apparent. And of course, again, you don't want to believe it. You want to believe that you're misinterpreting. And when they tell you, oh, you're misinterpreting, you want to believe that because you don't want to think you've gotten caught up with another monster. And if you're a magnet like I am, that's usually what's happening. But what happens, I'm wondering, I was thinking about it, and I think what it might be that draws us to them is, again, you've progressed all those stages, and yet everything's great with this person until you find something out that's wrong, and then when you address what's wrong, you get those retarded, ridiculous responses, and I think unconsciously we're thinking back to childhood, because 
it's kind of like they're pulling you back to a world that you have been in before and you know it's sick and disgusting but at the same time you relate to it because you once felt that way and probably said the same kind of crap to somebody else but I don't know if this is true or not it's just something I thought of but you kind of unconsciously think I outgrew that method of dealing with reality and here's an adult who's given the same types of responses I would have in grade school and it's kind of hard to, to take or to understand because you don't want to believe this is an adult who skipped the stages of development and stayed retarded in that old childhood mode but it start I think that maybe that is something that draws us to them to think that I can't believe and maybe it's a secret jealousy because in the old days when you were a kid that stuff worked for you but when you became socialized and realized that stuff is crap and everybody else knows it yet this person's still subscribing to it so I don't know if this is true or not I'd be anxious to hear your viewpoints because you know it's wrong but you still allow it which to these people <laughs> if they do it and you catch it and you address it and you're still there as far as they're concerned they're winning and I'm just interested in your opinions